Welcome to Wolves Weekly. This is Barrett Henderson, the Director of Media Relations here at Western Oregon University. Joined by Mike Johnson, head coach of uh, Wolves Cross Country and Track and Field. And Mike, I got to say, I love doing these with you. Really? Yeah. This is, you're nuts. You're a delight <laughs> to have on here. Let me Thank tell you. you. Thank you, Barrett. We, we always have a good time. Yeah, we do have a good time. Yeah. Well, Coach, so let's go ahead. And uh, we didn't get a chance to talk last week about uh, your, your season opener there in Seattle at uh, University of Washington. Talk about some of those uh, individual performances that really stuck out. Well, the thing I enjoyed the most about it was, you know, it's a meet that we went to as an opener, and you don't generally figure that you're going to have great performances in an opener. But, uh, boy, you know, Alexis Anderson had a good meet. Annie Wade ran really well in the 3K. Uh, Josh Hanna broke, uh, you know, the school 1,000-meter record. And we were able to run some people out of a event, and they had a chance to test themselves a little differently in some different event situations. And so I don't want to say it was a workout because it wasn't. <laughs> it was a meet. It was a great meet. And it was some wonderful performances. But it was just it was just fun to be on the bus with everybody. Yeah, it had to be nice to get going again. And uh, what a talented field that was there in Seattle. Uh, you know, you mentioned it, uh, just uh, about a thousand athletes up there. Well, actually, it was closer to 1,400. Yeah. And, uh, you know, much of the Pac-12, you know, was in it. And we talked about that, you know, before about mm -hmm. who the teams are. But, you know, what the badge is is not as important as who the people are. And we just have the opportunity to get to compete against some of the better people in the country. And uh, that's, uh, that's a real privilege. And uh, you got a great chance to see some of those uh, GNAC schools early on. And uh, it, it was Alaska Anchorage, again, who was impressive there. Yeah, they were. Um, they're, you know, it's different for them because their travel's so different. And I talk to their coach from time to time, and he's always looking to try and make the best use of resources, get into the right meets. Um, much the same as we do, just mm -hmm. a different level of, of uh, complications. They have other things they have to deal <laughs> with than we do. But yeah, they were there. Obviously, Seattle Pacific, a couple of their athletes you know, ran really well. Uh, Simon Frazier, um, a lot of friends. Yeah. You know, as much as we compete, and we compete really uh, enthusiastically with each other, that, uh, but these are, you know, the athletes uh, compete with people they know, we coach with people we know, and that's the part about the GNAC. It's a really solid conference. And uh, you guys are going to be heading right back up to Seattle once again at uh, Dempsey this week. Talk a little bit about the meet coming up. Sure. Another meet. Uh, in terms of the personnel, another meet very similar to you know, what we had last week, only another step up uh, in terms of level of competition. And actually this week we're only going to take uh, 12 to 15 men and 12 to 15 women and really hone in a little bit more on some of our performances, uh, setting up for the next weekend when we'll take uh, more like 25 of our men and 25 mm -hmm. of our women over to the University of Idaho and run in their Friday-Saturday competition over there. And, you know, you mentioned her, Alexis Anderson, just uh, an, an, a great first showing there. Um, she really got things going in the high jump and then uh, just did real well in triple jump as well. Well, Alexis, she's, she's a great competitor. She can long jump, high jump, triple jump. Uh, she's probably even better in the classroom. She's just a stellar student. And uh, she may be even a better person than she is a student. So we love having her around. And again, she's one of those people, you put them on the bus, they're good to be with. You go to the meet, they're always finding something positive to do. Now, what does Mike Johnson do on these bus trips? Is he, you got your, uh, your Beats headphones, what are you listening to? Pretty much that, and you know, the trash movies, yeah. uh, you know, you're coming up, you know, you're looking too much Jim Carrey or, oh, yeah. you know, Anchorman or something that's really <laughs> terrible when you look at it. I mean, they're entertaining, but not good. Those aren't my favorites. Okay. But the bus... But, you know, we only watch about one movie up and back. For the most part, it's a uh, conversation, working with the coaches, uh, athletes working together, people doing their homework, sleeping. Yeah. 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 Just getting it done. It's about as ordinary but kind of fun experience as you can have at the same time because everybody's together and we get to travel. Well, we'll see if we can get a student athlete in here next week with you. Yeah, I think maybe, we could do that. Yeah, maybe anyway, she'll shake off some of that uh, shyness. 
No. no. I don't <laughs> think that's happening. No. I'm not that good. Well, we appreciate you joining us this week. Thank you, Barry.